So here, we're gonna. This one might be best doing backwards again. It's really two problems in one. Okay. So here we want this not to precipitate. Okay. So this calcium oxalate. So you start off with this oxalic acid. What you're doing is you're starting to add this. This starts reacting here, and you can see as a potential with the calcium and the oxalate go together, it can form this calcium oxalate. You're starting to add more, uh, this amount of it. They want to make sure that this does not precipitate, or they're asking if it, if it does or not. So what you want to do to find out if that precipitates, Q is the concentration of calcium, times the concentration of the oxalate. Is that okay? Uh, so then you have to find those values. The concentration of the calcium is going to be really easy. It's from right here, from this stuff. So whatever this constant, it's going to be the same concentration of calcium. The concentration of the oxalate is the pain. Okay? But once we find that, we find Q, we compare it to K, and find out if it precipitates. Does that make sense? Okay, the, to find this concentration is painful because this is a polyprotic acid. So we, we're doing a polyprotic question to find this particular concentration. Once we get that concentration, then we're doing a will it precipitate question. Okay, so it's those two combined. That's why it's painful. So what you need to do is say H. We're going to do a couple, a polyprotic question first. There's a reaction. It has a particular Ka1 that's given in the problem. Ice. Water we ignore, this is zero and zero, and the concentration of the oxalate is going to be 1.5 grams, and it tells us there's point, is that point 0.2 liters or 200 liters? 0.2 liters. So it's, I'm going to write it really tiny here, grams divided by 0 0.200 0 .0 liters. But we don't want grams per liters, we want moles per liter, so we've got molarity. So you have to go over, use your periodic table and find the molar mass. Uh, they give it here in the solutions, it's 90.04 grams per mole. So, Okay, so there's the concentration. It's going to be, I got rid of the grams and I have moles per liter. That turns out to be 0 0.0833. Make my C and E lower. 0 0.0833 molar. Okay? Now I can do my ice table. So minus x plus x plus x. So it's 0 0.0833 minus x, x, and x. Okay? So now I'm going to have Ka1, it's a numerical value, equal to x squared over 0 0.0833 minus x. I'm actually going to write out Ka1. 5.2 times 10 to the minus 2. So far so good? Yeah. We got to solve for x. That's not going to tell me the C2O42 minus concentration, but I'm getting there slowly. Okay. The horrible thing about this one, so this is what somebody else was asking about later, this is not a very small k. I, I'm hoping for like a 10 to the minus 3 or smaller. This is only 10 to the minus 2. And what the answer book is suggesting is you have to use a quadratic to solve this. Mm -hmm.